In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the Holy Spirit, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Coming together as God's family, with confidence, let us ask for forgiveness, for God is full of gentleness and compassion. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. And I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, our Holy Father Dominic, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, protect us from all evil, strengthen us in every good work, and bring us to everlasting life. Prayer to Blessed Marie Pospon Lord Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you. Grant by the imitation of Blessed Marie Pospon, we may be firm in faith, unwavering in hope, and generous in charity. Establish our souls in a living community of love and holiness, so that henceforth we may sing eternally a hymn of praise. Glory to the Father, glory to the Son, glory to the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the last testament, Marie Pustan writes like this, As I have already disposed of all that I own, not keeping anything for myself, I have nothing. She was a perfect model of living poverty in total surrender to God. Marie Pespan insisted poverty as an evangelical virtue for all the sisters, inviting them to be poor with Jesus Christ. She deals collective poverty as a means of apostate. Poverty is not destitution. In due time, Marie Buspan built a very convenient house and she prescribes to all the sisters to take adequate nourishment according to their needs. But she will resolutely keep away from anything smelling of luxury and indulgence, not only in the furniture and the food, but also in the clothes and habits 
keeping within the limits of moderation, befitting the poverty professed in their house. Nine today, Mary Puspan, a woman dedicated to the evangelical virtue of poverty as the way to imitate Christ her Master. They will esteem and love with all their hearts this evangelical virtue which Jesus Christ so beautifully exemplified. They will observe it with care, convinced that they will never be richer than when they have become perfectly poor with Him. By this virtue, as with wings, they will arrive at the dwelling of peace and be raised into glory. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is alive and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O men of little faith? Therefore, do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the Gentiles seek all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things shall be yours as well. Our response to the intentions. Blessed Mary Puspan, pray for us. Blessed Mary Puspan, pray for us. Jesus tells us, those who have will be given more. Help us to realize that wealth and gifts are treasures, not for ourselves, but for the common good. Let us pray. Blessed Marie Puspan, pray for us. Worldly attachments to wealth blind us from seeing the hand of God at work in us and around us. Lord, heal us from this blindness that we may use things as though we are not using them and will be content with the necessary. Let us pray. Blessed Marie Puspan, pray for us. Our selfishness leads us to the point of finding glory in our own achievements and forget the divine within us. Heal us from this blind pursuit and allow us to grow with an attitude of dependency on God. Let us pray. Blessed Marie Puspan, pray for us. Marie Puspan wrote in her last testament, As I have already disposed of all that I owned, not keeping anything for myself, I have nothing. She lived in love for the poor and in poverty, in a total gift that reserves nothing for self. Lord, give us the courage to reflect this attitude of evangelical poverty in our being and actions. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.
Blessed Mary Puspen. Pray for us, 